chosen ones, light workers, star seeds. You are never truly going to understand evil people because you are not evil yourself. You don't think like evil people. Now, when you are dealing with the pathological narcissist, you know, the sociopath, the psychopathic individuals, the histrionics, and so on, know that they are based in shame and they're unable to move past their pride. And this means that they are stuck in the third dimension. Every day they wake up, they're in hell, and at best they get to purgatory. And, well, pride comes before the fall. They fall right back down to shame. Now, pathological narcissists have been stuck here since their childhood years. And because of that, they only have access to a certain level of consciousness. They have 1D, 2D, and 3D consciousness. So know that you're dealing with someone that does not have love to give. You'll find love and those positive emotions way up there in the 500s when if you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, well, they cannot get past level 199. So understand that people operate at varying levels of consciousness. And depending on what level of consciousness that you operate at, well, you'll have particular tools available to you. For example, if I have access to the fourth dimension, if I have courage, right? Then if I have courage, then this means that I had let go of my pride to get to courage because you have to let go of a more negative emotion to get to a higher one. So you'll see where someone that has courage has the courage to apologize. They have the courage to be vulnerable, but pathological narcissists don't have courage. They have dysfunctional pride and that dysfunctional pride is where their grandiosity comes from. And that grandiosity is covering that pathological shame. So know that you are dealing with someone that is stuck in darkness. And they have been stuck in darkness since their childhood years because pathological narcissists have a lot of unhealed trauma. And they have a lot of unhealed trauma because they truly do not believe that anything is wrong with their behavior. Again, they're filled with pride. People that are filled with pride are grandiose. They believe that they are perfect. They're egomaniacs. And well, you can't tell an egomaniac anything. They're perfect. And well, perfect people don't need to change. Hence, pride comes before the fall and they fall right back down to shame. To go through another shame pride cycle. And because of this, you are dealing with a very toxic individual. Because they do not have access to higher level vibrations. They don't have access to empathy. They have access to apathy. Sure. That is why you're dealing with a cold, reptilian-like individual. So know that you cannot get accountability from a pathological narcissist. They don't even have courage. That is why you're dealing with such a dysfunctional individual. They are not evolving. They are devolving. If someone cannot self-reflect, they cannot grow. Narcissists believe that they are perfect, which means they're done growing. Hence, they are regressing. They get worse with time. They are devolving. They age like milk. They don't age like wine. They do not get better with time. And because of this, then you need to improve on your discernment. It is very important that you learn to differentiate between healthy individuals and toxic individuals. And know that these toxic individuals are going to pretend to be a healthy individual because Chucky knows if he were to show you that he was evil on day zero, you would not accept. This is why Chucky pretends to be a good guy, but behind the veil, you know that they are evil. Because on day zero, when Chucky tells you that he is a good guy, that is a lie. That is the love bomb. And love bombing is deception. Love bombing or idealization is the first step of the narcissistic abuse cycle. Narcissists are incapable of getting into mutually beneficial relationships with individuals. The only relationship that you will have with a pathological narcissist is a parasitic one because every single day a pathological narcissist wakes up, they need to find supply. Every single day a mosquito wakes up, that mosquito knows it needs 
someone to bite. So know that if you are seeing pathological narcissists around you, then they are looking for supply. And this is where empathetic people come in. This is where the star seeds and so on come in because narcissist people are truly trying to get a free ride through life. They want you to carry their cross. They want you to bear their burdens. They want you to fight their demons. However, it is important that you understand that you are dealing with dead weight. Hence, it is important that you find people that are in your dimension. We're talking about the fourth dimension or higher. People that value personal development. People that are working on themselves. People that are headed to Zion, to the promised land, to enlightenment. People that know that they are not perfect. And because you know that you are not perfect, chosen one, you know that you have things to work on. And if you are working on things, then that means that you are growing because we are here to grow. We are here to reach our highest state, our highest potential. We want our third eyes open and the crown chakras activated. But you cannot get that if you are dealing with a pathological narcissist. Pathological narcissists are iron balloons. They are dead weight. They are re Regressing. They are the Titanic, and because of that, know that the Titanic only goes down. You cannot build with someone that embodies destructive energy. Pathological narcissists are ego maniacs. The ego does not have the ability to self reflect. The ego projects. And what is inside of the pathological narcissist people? A whole bunch of darkness and toxicity, and shame, and blame, and envy, and rage, and, well, pride, dysfunctional pride. And that dysfunctional pride is going to come right before the fall, and the pathological narcissist is going to fall right back down to shame, to go through another shame, pride cycle. So in closing, I truly want you to understand that all of the gaslighting, all of the double bind, where nothing can ever be right, and everything is always wrong, None of this has anything to do with you. What is truly happening is that you are dealing with someone that is regressing. You are dealing with someone with severe psychological problems and they have spiritual problems. And because of this, this individual must project all of that toxicity that is inside of them. Because when you are dealing with a pathological narcissist, again, they lack the ability to self-reflect. And if someone lacks the ability to self-reflect, they must project. And because of that, then you need to have firm boundaries in understanding that nothing that the narcissist is doing has anything to do with you, even though they are directing their hate and their vitriol at you. It's just that, well, if they can self-reflect, it has to go outside. If they cannot self-reflect, then, well, they must project. And again, People that cannot self-reflect cannot grow. You cannot grow with a pathological narcissist. You're only able to grow with people that are in your dimension. We're talking about other empathetic people, other chosen ones, other light workers, and so on. So people know that if the consciousness gap between you and someone else is too far apart, there is going to be conflict. Because you must lower your vibration to get down into their dimension. Because they are incapable of ascending. Because pathological narcissists are incapable of letting go of their pride to get to courage. Hence, again, pride comes before the fall and they fall right back down to shame. And pathological narcissists go through another Groundhog's Day. It is Groundhog's Day every single day if you're dealing with a pathological narcissist all right good people that is the quick message for today's video ensure that you're liking these videos ensure that you are subscribed for more important content chica genius is the name if you have a question or feedback go ahead and leave that in the comment section below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video